spot. How long have you lived here then, Jackie? Um, well, this boat was here since 1974. It's a view of the Thames Jackie Williams has enjoyed from her houseboat for the last 43 years. But now she fears her days here could be numbered after the moorings were sold to new owners in 2016. Since the new owners arrived, it's been slightly fractious. He suddenly issued these termination notices to us on the pretext that we haven't taken our boat into dry dock, which is um, it was in our licence agreement. Around a quarter of the boat owners here got a letter telling them they're in breach of safety issues because their vessel hasn't been checked in a dry dock. And now they all fear eviction. Oh, why haven't you? Well, we did try to take our boats into dry dock, but it's very difficult to do that in a, in a very short period of time. Um, but we have all tried. It's not correct to say we haven't tried because we have. The Chelsea Yacht and Boat Company own all the moorings here and are responsible for issuing 15 residents with a termination notice. They say they have all failed to do the right safety checks on their boats and that's putting the entire community at risk. They also insist there's no plans to redevelop the site. But the lawyers representing these residents say they will challenge this move. But there's a wider issue too that could affect all houseboat dwellers across the capital. The reality is my clients are part of the river dwelling community and so they don't actually have the same rights as property owners because there are no regulations that deal with their situation and that leads to them feeling quite vulnerable and there's, there's a lot of uncertainty and this is something that obviously doesn't just affect people at Chelsea Reach, it's across London. This is a close-knit community, vulnerable maybe, but determined too that this unique corner of London life is worth protecting. If statutory protections were in place for houseboat owners in the same way that they are for people who live in bricks and mortar houses or even in static caravans, then we wouldn't be facing a lot of the trouble that we're facing today. There we go. Thomas McGill, BBC London News.